Welcome to another Sir James D Tech video. Today I'll be doing the unboxing for the EVGA GTS 450 FTW 1 GB DirectX 11 graphics card. All right, here we go. Let's get this started. Now, as I said, this is the 450 FTW, which in case you don't know, stands for for the win. Doesn't have tape on either side. They apparently trust me. <laughs> Very much so. Now, see what's supposed to come in the box is the card, driver disc, power adapter, and we'll see if all that's in here. Okay, here we go. There's the card, I'll get to that in a minute. Okay, we got VGA to DVI. Not the full dual link. We got the driver disc. Curious to know what drivers are on here. And graphics card installation guide, how to do your step up program, things like that. Things I'll go over in the review. And a quick start guide for the 400 series. And no. I know it says HDMI. Well, here's the power. Well, at least they provide one of these. Molex to six pin, but no HDMI to mini HDMI cable, which isn't that big of a deal, but almost every other card I've gotten lately has had one of those. Oh. You know, first of all, I can't believe the size of this box compared to the 480 boxes. Second of all, look at the size of the card. Okay, I remember the old days with the 8600 GTS and things like that. These, This probably would have been big compared to that, but nowadays, God, this seems like <laughs> codename Babe the Pig. <laughs> this looks like a run. All right, let's give you a closer look. I'll just go over the packaging. I wish that bird would shut up, <laughs> but FTW, baby. Oh yeah. You can see the Molex to six pin for power. And this I really prefer. I've come across some graphics cards where they send just packing peanuts. And it's like, well, I can use this later on for anything, you know? So I greatly appreciate having that. There's a quick start guide. Got our user guide and the driver disc. And then here's where the driver disc came out. And then you got the VGA to DVI adapter. And I don't know how well you can see in there. I hope it's pretty clear. But like I mentioned, it does not have all the pins. So that's another thing just to be aware of. Now this EVGA GTS 450 FTW card comes with factory overclock settings of 920 for the core. 1840 for the shader and has an effective memory clock of 4100 megahertz. Whereas the stock GTS 450 comes with clocks of 822, 1645, and 3608. And you can pretty much bet that you can go higher than 920 if so desired, probably in the 950s and 960s, providing you've got good ventilation and cooling inside your case. And there you can see it has two DVI and one HDMI port. And something I think I should mention is I noticed in the quick start guide while perusing through it that the GTS 450 is pretty much the only model in the Fermi family in which it does not contain in the packaging that HDMI to mini HDMI cable that I mentioned earlier. So if you get this card, just be prepared that if you're running an HDMI setup, you're gonna to wanna to get one of those cables separately. All right, since EVGA markets this card towards the mainstream gaming resolutions, for the review, I will be conducting a variety of benchmarks at different resolutions, starting with 1280 by 1024, and going all the way up to 1920 by 1080. Remember, I don't have 2560 by 1600 anymore. And then I'm gonna compare those benchmark results with an ATI 5750 that I had just for comparison purposes. 
I ended up scaring up one of those. So I'm gonna do the benchmarks comparing this 450 with that 5750. And also I'm gonna go into how big of an asset this card is in folding. Because everybody knows lately I've been doing a ton of folding. Okay, you can see it runs on six pin. So once again, thanks for watching ladies and gentlemen. I hope to see you at the review. And again, if you are not a subscriber to Sir James D Tech, all you have to do is press the little subscribe button at the top of this video. And then you'll be a subscriber. Catch this, so many other products I've got lined up. I look forward to seeing you at the review. Talk later.